The legendary British pop reggae band UB40 has new music and they're performing right here in the Tampa Bay area next week at Janice Live. And joining us right now is drummer to the band, Jimmy Brown and Earl Faulkner. He's on bass and vocals for UB40. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Nice to be so here. Excited, so excited to have you on the show. And you know, your 21st album, Big Up, Bagger Rhythm. First of all, how does it feel to be back on the road and, you know, the 21st album? This is this takes so much work, longevity. What's the key to that? Well, first of all, let me say, well pronounced. A lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of presenters have a bit of trouble with the bigger bag of reading uh, title. <laughs> they seem to get tongue-tied by it, but uh, well done. That's very good. Thank yeah, you. But, <laughs> what can I say? Um, we're still going after all these years, so uh, it's, it's quite phenomenal, really. Yeah, and obviously after COVID and everything, we're um, you know we've all been chomping at the bit to get back out on the road, and finally we're out on the road. We're like a, a week into like a six-week tour of America, and everybody's like really like just buzzing about it. Excellent. And you know, talking about bagger rhythm, you know, this is the the third album that you guys use that particular word. For some of us that don't know what it particularly means, could you describe what does bagger rhythm mean to you, B40? That's a good question. I'll let you do that. Yeah, one. it's basically <laughs> just a bag with a load of records in it. Being <laughs> rhythm. Like it's a Jamaican thing, isn't it? Like rhythm, you know what I mean? So it's just like records in a bag. And um, the bigger bag of rhythm thing has always been about other artists that we bring in and collaborate with. So whether they're rappers or singers, you know, so yeah, it's just like an ongoing project that we've, uh, we have started like many moons ago, like 30 years ago or something. That's right, because you have the bagger rhythm, then little bagger rhythm, and now this is bigger, right? <laughs> so. That's right, yeah. Well, one of the reasons being because uh, the original one, we were just using local Birmingham artists, uh, where we come from, Birmingham in England. But uh, this time round, we've, we've been using international artists, um, okay. Okay. Some, some Jamaican artists also, um, like Inner Circle, for instance. Uh, and um, also we've, we're using... Um, a band from New Zealand called House of Shem, uh, who we became friends with over the years. Also, we got the Reggae Rajas from, uh, from India. So it's quite an international affair. Joining forces with some of the big ones then. Tell me about, you know, working for so long and the longevity of the band. I know you guys have a relatively new vocalist. How is that going? Tell me about that. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. It's um, like he's a young, he's, he's young, he's good looking. Everybody, everybody thinks he looks like Jude Lord, which is like obviously a win-win. So, <laughs> and uh, he's, he's a lovely guy. He's, he's fitted in beautifully. He's like really calm, and um, obviously he's been thrown into like major, like major situations, like uh, the Commonwealth Games we've done a few weeks back, and there was like two billion people watching. You know, was performing. Mm -hmm. He was singing live, and he held it together really good. So, um, yeah, he's like a, he's, he's a, yeah, he's a real good catch. We actually poached him from a band that um, used to um, support us on some of our British tours, a band called Kyoko. So, uh, yeah, we're loving him. Yeah, Matt Doyle. And also, he's uh, oh. a, a percussionist cousin, a uh, nephew. So he's in the family. Yeah. Oh, very well. I like that. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of like a dream come true for his side, but for you guys as well. Okay, so we have to talk about this because you're doing a, a like a refresher of the song red red wine and i know it's going to feature after the show here in tampa bay but what can you tell us about revamping this song such a legendary tune yeah i, I um i don't know i mean it just seemed like a time to do it you know i mean we're talking <laughs> 30 something years after the original um got a new singer so we wanted to get his vocals on it and um I don't know, it's a, it's a, it's a celebration of, of what sort of boosted us to success in the first place, I suppose. Excellent. And you guys are sharing the stage as well with this new production here at Janice Live. Tell me about the other acts that are performing with you guys that night. Yeah, well, we've got um, Maxi Police, um, Big Mountain and the Whalers. Oh. Like, you know, it's like a mini festival kind of a vibe. So. Obviously, like the reggae fraternity is a beautiful thing. It's not that big, and uh, we mo we know most of the people involved yeah. anyway over the years. <laughs> it's, uh, it's only like big mountain guys we've, we've only just recently met. So it's it's one it's, it's just a wonderful thing, you know. You like all like troopers on the road and like let's get out there and do yeah. it. Show one, you know. 
it's, it's yeah it's like a little army of people but like all the roadies and everything all the production guys you know it's all like a, yeah it's all like a lovely That's lovely vibe yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know the repertoire is going to be amazing because you guys have so many great songs to pick from. I'm sure it's really hard. So UB40 will be performing August 30th. Janice Live, the information on your screen. Thank you so much for coming to the show, guys. Best of luck with this new production called Bigger Bagarhythm. Uh, yeah. Love the well way you say well that. Well <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks.